And we're live. Saturday night. So it's my pour. I'll take the pink. Um, it's going to be mine because I painted this. So huh? you get to do a flood cup. <laughs> I'm very confused because what we just said. What? I'm excited because I've never used this candy blue. Please be happy. Hi from NOLA. Heather Brooks, hello from NOLA. Hello from Dallas, Texas. Illinois, Christine, what's up? We do bubbas. We do is always good. Hello from New York. I love New York. Madison, hello. Unique New York. Welcome. New York. New York. So, um, we have a couple new colors. I, I'm, the candy blue is not a new color, but um, I just really want to use it with these two new colors that we got. Um, God. This uh, iris purple and hot pink. Kind of excited about that. So hot and thirsty. So pinky. That blue and that purple look kind of similar. Or did it just go to the outside? Don't. Okay. Don't you dare question my authority. What's up, y'all? Beans. Well, congratulations, beans. Beans. Crazy G. Beans. Is it Crazy G? Yeah, it's Crazy G Lady. For when the first time I heard you say it, you kind of said it fast. I thought you said Crazy Jew Lady, and I'm like, that's not very nice. Whatevs. Yeah. I thought, mm, isn't that kind of not kisses. good to say? Like, and I thought, well, if that person has it as their name, which clearly it was not. <laughs> was that just a... Yeah, it was. Did he bite you? No. We're doing our snappy game. Bell beans. No snappy games. That's not how we do it here. Ooh. Let me know it. Alright, so... That's what we're going to do. We're going to do some swiping and then we're going to do a flood coat over the piece I did last night. So let's hit it. It's snowing in Wyoming. That's insane. No Miami. I mean, Wisconsin snowing. Where did Miami come from? Can I move this, or are you gonna? Well, I was just gonna show them. If you guys didn't see the piece last night, this is all alcohol ink. How on black? Stupid pretty is that? Stupid. Like it looks like, you know, when people take their pores and they run it through that program that makes it like bloop, like bloop. It three Ds it and makes it look like it's blobbing towards you. Anyways, that's what this looks like to me. Oh, beans, what are you chewing on? Everything. So I guess we're not going to put a flood coat over that. You guys, you guys got to see these colors. Uh, that doesn't even look pink, though. So Karen's name is Crazy G Lady because she loves giraffes. Giraffe-y? Mm hmm As in giraffes? Or are you just saying it? No, it's giraffes. 
It's not quite salmon. It's probably going to be truer on this camera. It doesn't. Slightly. It's we'll do so a weird. true color video. Yeah. What? Think of hot pink and magenta and fuchsia mixed together. That's this color. Hey, Scarlett. Scarletto. David Scarletta. Ow! Bowie! B! B! He has got her Ow. hair. Like tug of war hair. He is not friendly right now. Why are you so vicious? Why are you so vicious? Did you just want to play with something? Did you just want to play with something? Okay, no chewing. Stinking rain in California. Is it any anywhere have sun today? The boys are amazing. Here's one of them. He's just pulling my hair. Oh, thanks, Scarlett. I had a great day doing ceramics today. It is a fun time. All right, I'm gonna move this over so y'all can see the whole piece. All right, I need a cup. Here we are. I think I'm just gonna do some like swipes that we were doing. Nothing too crazy. Good potty, Bowie. Good boy. Such a good potty. That's exactly where I'm going. Golden eye. I ordered it and just got it today. Have we used Golden Eye by Color Obsession? No. There's your answer. Sorry, Pass Kelly. On. I think I'm just gonna make six ounces. Uh, I'll do eight. It's gonna be a crazy sunset. Like it looks funky outside right now. Anybody out there have puppies that, of course they run like all the time, but sometimes they run and it's way suspect. So we have one of those runs. Yeah, it's really, it's nice. It's been nice all day, just uh, not nice, but it rained really hard and then it just kind of went away and now it's kind of cloudy and going away and then tomorrow it's supposed to be really nice whose ceramics are these uh johnny's read that read all of his he sent a bunch of all right we're going to use our new stir stick new and improved larger bigger stronger see it do you see it I'll show you compared to our old one. Is that an old one? No. Yeah. So this is our old one. This is our new one. Uh, we'll, we should have some of these in by Monday. These are thicker. A lot better uh, to, for mixing bigger batches of resin. It's full moon tonight too. Look how crazy it's looking outside. Mm. Oh man. Hold on. I'm lift this up. Ooh, I like big sticks, says Joe Fish. Oh, Margaret, your daughters have two puppies like ours. Yeah, Bowie will run at a hundred and just slam into the couch and then that's where he naps. That's the end of the run and he's down. Bowie, leave it. Good, leave it. Even if it was a force, leave it. Damn, I can't see. Shh. 
Shyster up there. So the weather here is, um, it's been raining and actually storming. It looked like it was nighttime at 10 a.m. And we went to Makers today and uh, both took a little intro class to get kind of uh, introduced to some people and um, get to where we can just go use the stuff without having to check in or take a course. We learned how to use the laser today. Yep. The place is really awesome, real chill. NACA Inc. Thanks for your order. I've been sending them out as soon as they come in, as long as we have it in stock. Um, so the thing about Pomeranians and shedding is it depends on the climate. Cujo sheds twice a year, really, and we get them groomed like every couple of months. Um, I did have a lot of fun throwing today. I swear, there's nowhere that has good weather today, it looks like. Bully beans, why do you like chewing on things you're not supposed to? What do we have? What do I have? It's supposed to be April showers bring May flowers, not May flowers bring June flowers. Or May showers bring June flowers. You know <laughs> what I mean. You know what I'm saying. Awesome. Happy. I need some. Oh, you had good weather in New Jersey. That's good. Thank you, Karen. You need cups? Yeah. Drinking out of cups. I think you should add gold to that. Yeah. Here you go, Bowie. Chew on this. I couldn't find his Kong when we were leaving because that's what I... How many colors are you doing? No, white and black. Oh, so that's what I do is I give him a Kong to play with that has peanut butter in it because that's his jam. But... Peanut butter jam. That works out well. Um, I couldn't find his little Kong, so this morning when we were leaving, I had to give him shot glass with peanut butter in it. And I gotta tell you, I have no shame. Zero shame. So Angie's the only one that had good weather today. <laughs> Dora says May showers bring June mosquitoes. All right. Roxy says Michaels in Canada led to use their room for craft classes. I didn't know if you knew that. So the Michaels here, we asked them about it and they said that they can't host any classes in there that isn't offered at all of their corporate stores because ours is a corporate Michaels. However, comma, the makerspace that we're at will let us use their space. It's true. Oh, Susan Campbell had good weather, so that's good. The power flickered earlier, which was kind of crazy. That was crazy? Well, uh, because we had like lasers and machinery and everything going all the way around. Like everybody was using all the power. So I wasn't sure if it was like... a bad thing or not. I didn't know if it was going to like sh shut everything off. Let me look up Kelly Green for you. Ew, that's like the greenest green. I would probably say- Kelly Green say, is like the greenest of all. Yeah, I would say frog green will be the closest. Oh, I guess we'll use that for blue. For sure. Oh, Rusty had good weather too.
So Janice, um, we provide everything for our classes except for aprons and respirators. Um, we, we, we have we have we two have a of couple, them. But you need one. Somebody needs one, but you can. You're more than welcome to bring your own. But also, um, we just tell people to bring ones that they know fit their face. If usually, if someone needs a respirator, they own one, and the people that don't need it don't even ask about it. Um, we always work in wide open areas that are well ventilated. Wide open space. Um, and. I really wish this was true color. Any tips and how long does an average class run? So the actual class time never runs no Bobo. The actual class time usually runs Bobo. Oh, Actual class time runs maybe about an hour and a half, two hours. But we always chat beforehand and taking like time to set up a class takes hours. Breaking it down takes hours. So I don't know if you're talking about actual class time or from start to finish on how long it takes. Thinking about trying a view of Earth from space type four, is it possible to get detailed with resin? It depends on how much detail you're talking. Like if you're doing an abstract, like rough representation, you you can. You're not ever gonna get super fine details with resin unless you paint brush it on and ruin your brushes and it's gonna take a little bit. It's not impossible, but it's going to take some work for sure. Is that black or clear on there? So, so far, this side is painted white, this side is painted black, and there is clear resin on both sides. Where are the lasers? They're at Makerspace in Carrollton. I miss Joy. I did not see your post about talking to a college or a church for the class. I did, um, I've reached out to an art studio down there. I'm hoping it comes through. If not, I'm just gonna have to figure Denise out Denise said she has out. somebody working on it in Jacksonville. Oh yeah, Fireball Denise has someone working on it too. Damn it, I got white. Can you go to a class just to watch and to meet people? I don't mind. So the colors tonight are iris purple, candy blue. Those two look similar on screen, but we'll do a true color video. And hot pink, those are all by Just Resin. And then also this white and that black, Bowie. No, sir. And some gold. I don't think he's decided yet. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Nancy. Justine says the classes are awesome. All the Aussies love them. Oh, thank you. How so? How are you doing? And did you finish that whole bottle of Fireball? Was there a new green... And all of the awesomeness that came in today. I know we got there some was like three mint. Or four greens in there. And I know we got forest. But I don't think we got a new green. Forest and mint we've had for a while. Have a great time at the movies, Angie. What's up, Corkster? How you doing? Eric, are you under a tornado warning? Are we under a tornado warning? I wouldn't doubt it. Look at that sunset. Oh my gosh. That's gonna be amazing. I wish we could, I wish we lived on the other side sometimes. Bowie. It's like he knows we're over here and we can't like watch him. 
Yeah. I don't know if we're under a warning right now. If it's storming, we're in the eye of it. Hi, Pamela and Galveston. Sub sour cream, Sherry. What about a hotel, VFW, or Moose Lodge? I, don't you have to be a member of VFW or the Moose Lodge to use it or know someone that's a member? I don't know. That's just an assumption. Probably a poor one. Get it? That was a post. Get it. Um, mm. Mm. And I can ask a hotel, but having been in hotels for a while, I think that they... I'm assuming which I shouldn't before I ask somebody, that they may not be too happy with the fact that we're using resin. But as that may be hotel specific. I don't know. I'll definitely look into that. So thank you super much. I wonder if there's a maker space down there. Hmm. You can always find out. Scarlet's eating Oreos. Jealous. Gail says no sunset in Dallas near I-35. It's just raining. Hi, Linda. Isn't it so vibrant? I can't wait to show you guys the true color. Sometimes not if you offer a painting for them to auction off. That's an idea. That's a lot of gold. I want it to be a lot of gold because I'm gold Russian. Mm. Mm. What's up, Ocean? I always see Aloha before I see like her name. But there's probably one in Orlando or Miami. There has to be one there. Miami's a little south for Jacksonville, but I'm definitely going to look into it. There's a makerspace in downtown Jacksonville. I have not been since I'm about two hours from there. Jeff is golden tonight. Let me reach out to this marker first. I don't know why that didn't come up in my like original search well I'll be dead gone Jack's hacks makerspace and Collab Jacks. Let me check those out. There's four people in this room that are like, what do I need to do to get you guys to go to Chicago? Find us a space to art in and I'll get us there. Oh my God, Sulu. So I read that whole drama in Epoxy's Not My Friend about the E6000 resin um, substitute, I guess. Y'all, let me just start out by saying I'm not in that private group that is pushing the E6000 Mod Podge Scam. Is how you have to call it a scam. Okay, here's the thing. If you're sensitive to epoxy and that's why you're looking for an alternative, you're not gonna get it safer with anything with E6000 in it because it is not a super hyper safe thing. And I read some of what the person that started that group and runs the website that talks about it. Um, I read some of her comments and posts and things and anytime anyone asks her 
what her like chemistry background is to say that this is a safe alternative she completely ignores them and I I don't know I feel like you have to be qualified to say something is safe and I mean we give recommendations on this page and we you know show a lot of different things but in no way are we saying anything is something you should do instead of something else this is just a page for us doing what we do and sharing with you guys our particular type of artwork but for someone to make a statement like this concoction which you have to pay her to know what the recipe is is safer than resin and you should use it on mugs and drinking and like things that you put your mouth on is absolutely irresponsible in my opinion um uh, ever come to philadelphia colors, i probably will never come to philadelphia <laughs> right happy Right. Well, she's also saying that um, everything that's in her mixture to make this resin substitute is water-based, and I use E6000 a lot, and it, I can guarantee, is not water-based, and I believe it even says on the label that it is not super safe, that you should wear a respirator with it, and that... Um, you should take basically every precaution that you use with resin. What up, Philip? Everyone says it looks awesome. Yeah, so she had a private Facebook group um, where she had her recipe listed and she would go into um, like Epoxy's Not My Friend and other groups like that and tell them to join her page. She was poaching people out of other groups and ha asking people to join her page, which, you know, it happens, it's whatever. But after her group gained some traction, she... Um, took her recipe off that website or off Facebook, made her own website. And now to get any information from her, you have to pay. It's not a ridiculous amount. I think it's like eight bucks or something like that, but it's the point that I'm, I'm having an issue with, you know, like, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's because I'm like, if it's good for people, share it minded and then she said that um she has to charge because making a website you can't do it by yourself so she had to charge so that she could make the money back that it cost her to make the website which is also erroneous because i made our own website and i didn't pay anybody i'm gonna do super tilt because i just i'm not so, let me tell you why I like it so far before you super tilt it. Oh, of course. What, babe? What? So, it looks like, a, like you know when dragons have, like, not drag, a gargoyle, like, this is the body and then the wings are coming up. Mm. Um, pottery was amazing. Love playing in clay. Paula Hill, thank you. <laughs> E6000 is glue, Megan. It's it's a really good glue. Love the swirls in the cells. Very suspicious. I wouldn't put E6000 on anything to be used for food. That's what I was saying, sour cream. Basically. Love watching you art, Jeff. Super tail while Erica, I missed all that. I wish I knew who you was talking about. Um, there was a big discussion about it on Epoxy's Not My Friend, and that's the reason I knew about it at all. Is because this lady tried it. You'll see a picture of like a pink mug or a vase or a cup of, or something. And this 
resin substitute was like peeling off. And so the lady was upset about it because it was something her daughter made and she was um, trying to resin it to And that purple like it. took over. And um, she contacted the lady that owns the website and the closed Facebook group and was like, it's not working. It's peeling off. Also, how is this safe? And she had a long discussion. Ultimately, she blocked her from the group, deleted all of her like complaints about the product and working with this lady. And so like the discussion board or like the comments under that thread, it was like 363 comments. And that's what I did coming back from pottery classes reading on all of that. It is very potent. I don't know why I don't take these off. So happy it's, she's mixing E6000, Mod Podge, and some other like water-based soluble things. She's mixing it together and saying that it's a resin substitute because it's glossy and it stays. However, it doesn't stay. And also it's not a healthy substitute to resin as she's advertising. I would have looked up what the recipe is, but one, I don't want anybody listening to try it and hurt themselves because it's irresponsible of anyone to put E6000 in your mouth. And two, I'm not paying $8 to support someone's... I'm trying to be sweet. Um, I don't know. Careless. Careless. Carelessness. Yeah. It's beautiful. You guys make swiping look easy. I haven't figured out how heavy and best paper. Tried Wax Depot Freezer. What are people's favorites? Love the colors and you always warn people about safety. I do. And actually, someone commented on one of our posts one time. It was like, you guys never use a mask. And so you're probably going to get a class action suit. I was like, I don't think so. Because in every description box, it says that do as I say, not as I do, etc. Um, send me an email and I will tell you a whole bunch of stuff about swiping. How much Australian would this one cost me? How much Australian? How much are you charging for that? And I can... It's cool. Walk away. It looks like a planet. Looks like fiery sunset. Yeah, it looks like a planet, like sideways. Love that piece. She's irresponsible. Love the piece. You got that on your alcohol. You called guilty. So Stacy. Where did he get a uh, coaster or a koozie? Look at him. He's arguing with his blanket. He is. Um, I have heard about Kilty. They're supposed to be sending me a package to review for you guys, but while I was at Judy, she gave me some Kilty ink and the masking area stuff to test for you guys. Well, Ocean, exactly, because E6000 and even Mod Podge, none of that Ocean. is like UV resistant. So, meh. Perfection, super cool, super cool. Hi, everyone, love it. Ocean, thank you <laughs> for yesterday's entertainment. What happened yesterday? I don't know. Everybody was talking about the um, the chat, but I didn't. I didn't see it. I couldn't. Obviously, I couldn't just watch it all. But apparently, the chat was amazing yesterday. Y'all, fill me in. What happened? I, I have no idea. Uh, but Stacy, I'll be reviewing those on the channel soon for sure. I don't know where Jen is. What's up, Shy? Um, I'll message Jen. She may just be not feeling well today. So, how much is this? Um, I I don't know. What do we... It's your piece. I can't tell you what to charge for it. It's a fifteen round. I don't know, like 150? 125? So. Let 
We'll call it 200 Australian plus shipping. Jen was melting down. For what? Oh, Jen was going crazy because Jeff was playing and being non-standard as he experimented. Jen was trying to help Jeff, but he wasn't watching. It was bananas. She freaked out about Jeff using too much alcohol. Jen was flipping out because the alcohol with the white. She yeah, was losing well. her cookies. That's funny. It was hilarious. Best chat. As long as you guys are entertained, I'm a happy camper. Also, sometimes using materials unconventionally give you interesting and unique results. So yeah. while Jen is correct on everything that she did say, most likely because she is an alcohol ink ninja, sometimes thinking outside of the alcohol ink box will give you interesting results. That's not to say go out and waste all of your materials by mixing like tears of a unicorn in them and hoping it works, but do small tests, see what happens. You had to be there. We were hysterical. Well, I will have to go back and read through it because I'm sure it was a murder. In the end, Jeff's results were amazing and inspiring. I'm going to try it on coasters. That's probably where Jen is right now at home doing the, the mm -hmm. don't do it. So I haven't checked anything. Um, you're welcome. And anything we can do to help if it's in our means, we will absolutely help. Um, beautiful art. Good night. Night, Gail. I just made a rose gold out of this pink. Are you guys out of gloves? No. Jeff's just being um, I just, I didn't reckless. Think I need them right now just because... I have alcohol right next to me. Y'all, wait till you see this, the true color in this, in this piece. Let me get my phone and give you guys a little sneak peek. What, what is it, Bowie Beans? Oh. Yeah, what? The remix. Ooh, Gabe. Beautiful piece, my bee. So we do have a couple of spots left open for our... No, we just got six, or three or four orders, so... So the last time I checked, we had a couple of spots left. Love this piece, it's a planet. Scarlet got resin in her hair. Scarlet happens to the best of us. Just get some alcohol and work it out in deep condition after because alcohol Wait, will dry your hair out. Wait till you guys see out. this, uh, this pink. Thanks y'all. Of course we would. If we had a location in any town that has at least 10 people for a class, sure. See what it looks like with the flash on. There are still cells popping up. Wow, that gold. Like you can't see it in some spots. If you look this way, and then you go over this way, look at that, woo! That's great. That's gonna look nice on somebody's wall. All right, 
post that when that video posts so they can just go directly to it. Is it gonna? It says make archive unlisted when it's complete, and I don't know why that is. Sorry, y'all. I'm gonna switch that over to the class thing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to figure this out. There are new colors. We used hot pink and iris in this piece. start um, I think I'm gonna start taking those pictures with uh, with those macro lens real, real up close I fixed it. Yeah, because these are like beautiful. These would make some amazing Beauty. posters. That's awesome, Chris. Congrats. The gold was 007, I believe. Just piece yesterday was so great. I had to order more ink. Uh-oh. Zig's 40% off on marker supplies. Night, Rusty. All right, Yens. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Um, if you're still interested in the class, we have some information here. Doink, 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 doink. And I hope that from our um, membership at Makerspace, we can start making the rounds here and that will alleviate having them shipped in so I can have them like right now. I mean, not right now, right now, but you know what I mean. Right now, then, right now. Can you review how your live shows are done? Where can I find a schedule of your work? Thank you, Linda. So, when you ask how they're done, do you mean how we film them? I just wanna make sure I'm answering their question. And our schedule is usually, every day we go live at 8 p.m. If you on Sundays, that's kind of a coin toss day, and Tuesdays at 2 p.m. Central, Dallas, Texas, United States, and America time. Let me get Cujo down real quick. Um, so <clears throat> oh, I know what my nose is. Oh, I'll make him another appointment. All right, we are off in Audi, and we appreciate you all stopping by for a short little. Swipe and super tilt. Um, if you are interested in this, um, you might have to fight the first person that asked about it, but it is for sale. Um, so email us or hit us up on any of the social media over there, right over there, right there. Uh, check us out on Snapchat. You can see kind of behind the scenes when we go do things, go out. 
Go um, I'm, art. I'm going to Austin tomorrow with my friend Gabe so we can pick up some wheels and we're going to hang out and check out some artwork. So if you're in Austin, let me know. We might stop by, say hi. So the live schedule is 8 p.m. Central Standard every day except for Sunday is coin toss day, Tuesdays at 2 uh, p.m. If we do change it, we try to post in ETD's Poor People that it'll either be pre-recorded, like it won't be alive, or if we change the time because life happens, then we post in that group. So if you're a member yet, please join. Please join, subscribe, like, share, thumbs up, thumbs down. If you do a thumbs down, at least let us know why so we can work on that for you. Yeah. So with that said, bye.